setting up the TG6 and uh, adjusting settings prior to using the camera for underwater survey. Turning it on, button on the top. Okay, so when the camera first comes on, for topside shooting, if you're going to be shooting above the water, um, the best setting using this button here is to go around to auto and that uh, is best for shooting on land. When we're going to go to underwater, we're going to move down to this fish icon and for shallow water, we're going to use this first setting. For slightly deeper water, we can use this second setting. For macro, uh, getting close, for example, for coral ID, we can use that third setting. So for most shallow stuff that we're doing, we've been finding we've been getting good results on this first setting. So go to there, then OK. The other thing we need to check, of course, is that the GPS is on. So we're going into the menu and we're going down to the little star icon there, fifth item on the uh, menu, that one, and then we're using the right button to go across and then we're coming down to G, which is the GPS setting, going across and we're gonna enter that and we're gonna turn the GPS on. Okay. And we want this GPS priority set to GPS accuracy. That's where we want it to be. Okay. And okay. Menu to go back. Uh, the other thing we can do, the little number down the bottom that's in yellow there, that's the exposure compensation. And it's worth taking that down just to the first stop down, minus 0.3. And that means the pictures aren't going to be too overexposed. And you can see our GPS icon is flashing there now in the bottom left of the screen. And that's the crucial point for when we're using this in the water, that icon has to stop flashing, which means that we've got GPS signal. When it stops flashing, then you're going to be able to record the GPS data with the pictures that you take. The other thing that we can check at this stage before going in is the focus area as well. So if we go into the menu and we go back up to the very first item at the top and you'll see here on the right hand side of the screen, it's got multi point focus selected. So we're going to go into there and the auto focus area instead of multi point, we want that to be a single central point because then that means whatever's in the center of the screen um, is going to be what the camera focuses on, which for when you're taking pictures of corals and things like that is quite important. So we're gonna set that okay. And then it asks you which part of the screen do you want to be the autofocus area? And we're gonna select that central part. Okay, so now I'm outside with access to the sky and you can see that the little GPS signal there has stopped flashing. That means we have signal. So if you are in the water now, and you've had this up above the water on top of your head for a minute or two, and once you see that, you know that every picture you take after this is going to have the GPS data embedded. The way to check that as you're taking the pictures, there's two ways. As I take a picture, I want you to look very carefully in this right-hand side of the screen here. You'll notice the GPS data is gonna flash up momentarily after I take the picture. Here we go, one, two, three. And there you go, you saw the GPS data in the corner of the picture. The other way that you can check that an image that you just took has GPS data is to go to the recall button here. And there you go, we're looking at the last image and you can see clearly there the GPS data. So as you're using the camera in the water, it's very important to check that you're actually getting GPS data embedded with the imagery. So there's two ways that you can do it. One to check the review picture that flashes up immediately after you take the shot, and second, to check it with your review button here. One more push, and then you go back to an active screen. Okay, so when it comes time to being in the water and using the camera, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna 
make sure it's on and it helps to actually turn it on before you get in the water so that it can pick up its first fix with the GPS. Sometimes that first fix can take a minute or even two minutes uh, to get. So it's worth getting the camera on, um, getting that first fix and then you're going to be swimming around in the water. The idea is that you swim with the camera, just holding the camera on top of your head as you're snorkeling or you can even hold it behind your back but we found on top of your head gives um, the best signal and then when you come to a place that you're going to take either do a transect or you're just going to take a set of monitoring photos this is the procedure so take the camera check that you've actually got gps signal and you're seeing that satellite icon put the camera underwater and you have about six seconds to take the first photo the first photo is going to be looking forward and down at the reef and you're going to have some sort of target coral or something inside that photo once you've taken that photo, you put the camera back on your head, you swim forward until you're directly over the top of your target coral, and then you check you've got GPS again, and then your next photo is taken straight up and down, vertically orientated, about a meter and a half off the bottom with your target coral inside that picture. You then put the camera up on your head and keep swimming to your next place where you're gonna take the next photo.